Greetings and felicitations, YouTube. Yarl the Appian Way here. I'm actually doing this live with with Death. We think we've run into a bit of a glitch, and we're gonna try and recreate the circumstances of this glitch. Pretty much what we found was that in our last battle, we both took two different types of heroes, but we both took chariots for them. The specifically one of the skirmisher chariots for each of us, and we found that we could not click attack orders. Now, I'm not having that problem right now, Death, are you? Can you click a melee attack order? Wait a minute, let me have it. No, I have a skirmish, actually. Okay, well, if you hold down um, Alt and then right-click, it should give you the option to do a melee attack. Yes, I can. Okay, now try to carry out the melee attack. Because my guy's okay. standing still. He is not actually moving forward to melee. I'm going to turn off uh, skirmish mode and try again. He's just staying here. I, it's it's different than what happened in our last battle in the sense that last time I couldn't even... I didn't even get the, uh, the melee attack option or the ability to click. Now, he just immediately disobeys the order. So, what we ended up doing in the fight uh, that we just had is we we can only move our heroes. Can you bring your Laconian Militia forward? I mean, you can bring the Chariots forward too, I guess. <laughs> there we go. The Laconian Militia. So I can make... I can make, you know, ranged attack orders. I can give move orders. And Chariot heroes have a thing where they kind of carry out both orders simultaneously based on how how you make those orders. So he should be... He should be throwing javelins. Yeah, there you go. He starts throwing javelins. He's going to run around, but I can't I can't melee. He just goes right back to his last default order and and carries out his movement. So he can so the heroes can do their move orders, but they can't do their um their melee orders. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and, and uh, let's do fast forward. I'm going to have my hero waste all of his ammo on the Laconian militia. Uh, and if you want, you can go and send your Warlord Commander to waste his ammo on my, um, on my Young Spears. Yeah, there he goes. Your hero is under attack. And this is interesting. So I just took a direct Javelin hit, but I didn't take damage until that second one. Which was a little bizarre. Oh, you're attacking my Chariots? Oh man. <laughs> okay. So, pretty much what we're doing right now is we're trying to get rid of all of our ammo so that we can try and click different orders just to see if it's the ammo that's the problem or not. And it, I, we, I don't think it is. I think it's the, the specific mount. So I've got nine shots left. How'd my chariots win that? That was weird. I didn't even click those orders. Okay. So, almost done with my ammo. How are you looking? You've got two shots left. I've got two shots left. Perfect. So, we're almost done here. Alright. No and now, ammunition. look at this. I cannot click attack orders. I can only click move orders. It would be an attack order if it was a red line. But all I can do here is move into the Laconian Militia. Which, yeah, sure, that's that's how chariots work, that's how they deal their damage, but it means that the only option is pull through. You see what I'm saying? And at least, am I taking damage is the other big question. I am not. Alright, so let's get over, I can't even, I my instinct here was to attack the warlord commander, but I can't. Death, you're having the same problem, right? Yes, I am. So yeah, we just move into each other. We bump around. This is how we had our, our melee fight between our heroes earlier today. We were just chasing each other and, and running into one another. Because that... They're not even doing the attack animations if you watch them. As he's sitting here being mobbed by Laconian Militia. No attack orders. N or no attack animations. They're just kind of standing here. Um, so... Ultimately, the way Death dealt with this is that he has an ability that allows him to break his chariot, right? That's what you did? Yes, uh, there's a toggle mount button. Ah, yes, toggle mount. 
That makes sense. I, how come I never knew that was there? <laughs> so yeah, we had to end up using Toggle Mount in order to... Uh, well, he used Toggle Mount to get off his chariot, and then it freed up both of our characters to do melee attacks. So here, I'm going to go ahead and, and ditch my, my chariot. The chariot will try, try to get out of here. While my hero is uh, now free to attack. I can even give him attack orders. I can attack uh, the hero. I can do all this stuff. But for some reason, that chariot mount, the skirmish chariot mount, made it impossible to actually participate in melee. So, Death's going to run away. So, we, we don't... It's really just weird. Um, clearly, it makes gameplay unfair um it's just broken it's just very broken um we're gonna we're gonna continue to look into this and just see if it's you know specifically these factions if it's just the the javelin chariots um this is new to us uh i know that they worked just fine before the um ajax and diomedes update dropped um but we hadn't noticed this since then so I don't know if this is new as in from the last couple of days, or if this is new as of that update, but we're going to look into it and try and get more answers. Anyway, that's it for today. Oh, and uh, exciting news for those of you who have been listening to me clacking my keyboard all, all, all year long. I got, I got a silent keyboard for you. And it's, it's Bluetooth, so I could just, you know, I just plug it in when I want to use it and, and, and throw it away when I don't want to use it. So, for those of you who have been concerned about um, <laughs> and annoyed by the sound of this clicky-clacky cl cl keyboard, don't worry. I'm done. I got this clicky-clacky keyboard now. No click noises! Quick follow-up. We've uh, a Another bug was just brought to my attention by Def. This is something that was found on, on his Discord server. Um, I have it set to uh, unlimited unit caps. Uh, just to show you what that does, normally you can only bring one giant champion, now you can bring as many as you want, right? Well, watch this. So, Paragon units, you're still capped to just two, even with unlimited unit caps turned on. I mean, yeah, you can have more than one of, of one type, like Devoted Porces here, but uh, you're still limited to just the two. However, if you click this button, Auto Generate Army has just given me four Paragon units. And now I can, if I want to, just, you know, remove all those XP chevrons, can delete everything else. And then I can just build the army normally however I would want it to be. So this is an exploit that people can use against you if you are uh, playing against Salamis, watch out for it. Um, Normally, a Salamis player can only bring two Paragon units, but this is a way that some Salamis players can cheat the system and bring more than just two. So, something to watch out for. Anyway, that's it. Two bugs, one video. Tata, -ta, I love you all. See you guys in the next video.